I'd just like to say that for us it's an incredible honour to be working in Italy. I mean, we as architects trained in Ireland have uh, had the incredible fortune of inheriting your tradition. I mean, Italy is, is a cradle of architecture. Uh, the, the, the street, the square, the things we value are from you and that it is tremendous for us to be here. It's such an honour. But it's also that we have, um, th see, what is interesting is that architectural culture is something that is, is, a, is a, a kind of like a global phenomenon. Certain things that work in your culture because people gather together here. You've been urbanised long before many other people. So we learn from the, the kind of collective consciousness of Italy. And it is, it is amazing for us as young architects, Italy, for every architect around the world, Italy is the place to go in terms of seeping something else. So it's, it's uh, uh, Italy also infuses architectural tradition, which we inherit. Well, I suppose when we, we, we felt a real responsibility when we were doing the competition to kind of find Milan and find our interpretation of Milan and a responsibility to make something which didn't feel like something alien, didn't feel like a, an import. And um, the, the experience of looking at the city, given that edge that now one has to make something in this place, was it really focuses your attention. So, I mean, we talked about making a piece of city, making a university which felt like a piece of, of Milan, and that was our search, both at the, at the scale of the the spaces that we made, which uh, we wanted to feel, to have some resonance with the grand spaces of, of Milan, that, 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 uh, that somehow the university would open its doors to the city, that, uh, uh, that we would occupy the site in, uh, with the same strength and vigour that uh, uh, Milanese buildings do, where they sit solid on the ground and they're, you know, I mean, it's such a solid, um, wonderfully, wonderfully solid city with these strange stones and strange materials which feel like a piece of uh, a mountain or something. And uh, it was those kinds of instinctive things about making a sense of continuity of the landscape and the language of that city that somehow our building would weave into that. And um, I suppose some of the best, maybe the best compliment we've ever been paid was that when somebody said, well, it feels really Milanese, that the building doesn't feel like somebody has just come in and put something there and has left, that it feels like it belongs. That's hopefully the way that it will feel when it's finished.